Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, I'm just gonna show you just around my account right now, like why I haven't like uploaded like a crystal opening in a while, and just to like announce that in a month from now, or maybe a little bit less than a month from now, November 17th, I'm gonna be doing my uh, birthday crystal opening, and I've been saving up crystals for the past like four months, five months. So when we get there, I'm just gonna show you everything we're gonna be opening. When we get there, we're gonna be opening like. 40-ish daily throne breakers, which these are insane from what I've seen. I can get 10,000 six star shards, shit like that. So this should be really fun, opening 40 of these. Um, we're going to be opening pretty much all of these, um, if I have them still. We're gonna be opening, keep going down. We're gonna be opening all of these. I should be, be around 20. I should be able to get around 20 or 21 um, by the time my birthday comes, I think 21-ish. So it will be 21 10% tier 5 CC crystals. And if we look at my tier 5 CC, um, here we go. I'm like four off of Cosmic, 40% off. I'm like 40% um, like off Mystic also, close to a mutant and skills. And it's pretty much all of them I might be able to form. Um, except for like tech maybe, unless I get like ridiculous tech look. Um, and if we look at my champs as six stars. If I, okay, okay. If I get like a science, I won't really have anyone to use it on. I could rank through the Red Hulk, but I don't know if I'd do that. Um, for skill, I don't have, I already have a tier five CC for skill. So if I get a second one, that'll kind of suck. I'd use it on Nick Fury pretty much. Um, maybe Gwenpool also for fun. Uh, Mutant, I really want to awaken a Mega Rider Colossus. As you see, they're both ranked two six stars, just waiting. Um, I already have a tier 5 CC for Mutant, but if I get a second one, I can rank 3 both them. Um, I would rank 3 Colossus on Awakened, and if I had a second one, I, I might just rank 3 Omega on Awakened. Because I use them for like questing for fun on Awakened. Just, uh, just for fun, I don't know. I mean, I already have pretty much all the champs in the game. I don't really have any hard content left, so... Might as well rank through them for fun, especially since we'll get more in the future, but I don't know, maybe. Um, if I get Cosmic, which I'm planning on doing, I can use this um, Awakening Gem and rank through Corvus, which would be very fun. If we somehow luck out and get a whole bunch of tech, I'll rank through Ghost, I guess. Um, yep. Mutant, um, I'm planning on forming a Mystic also and rank through Clairvoyant, which would be really nice. So yeah, we got a lot of options from the 21 per tier, uh, tier 5 CC, 10% of crystals. Then we go over to the 5 star and 6 star. I'm gonna be able to get about 15 to 16 mutant skill and 15, 16 cosmic and tech dual crystals. So like 35 stars in total, around a little bit more than 35 stars in total. Um, from the mutant skill and dual crystals, the only character I care about, the literal only character I care about is Nick Fury. Pretty much anyone else is useless um, as a fire star. And then from the Cosmic and Tech Crystal, the only character I care about is um, Warlock, Guillotine 2099, and Silver Surfer for Prestige. Um, so that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. I only am going for like three characters in this one, and then only one from the, the Mutant skill. And then we look down here. I should be able to get 10 to 11 six-star crystals. So we're basically going to be opening like 30 to 35 five stars and like 10 to 11 maybe 12 if like the event's crazy next month 10 to 12 um six star crystals so it's gonna be a massive opening um obviously the six stars are the most important um i i'm really excited because that's the most six stars i've definitely ever opened and more six stars than most people have ever saved up most people have never saved up to 10 six stars at a time um because, you know, why would you? But I want to have, like, a big birthday opening. I'm going to be 18. So if we look at every class, again, for science, I'm really opening to, I guess, Awaken Red Hulk would be cool. Um, Human Torch is, like, top of the list. Captain America Infinity War is, like, second highest on the list. And then, like, Red Hulk's, like, third. Or, and Awakening Void. I forgot to avoid, but I don't really like Void that much. But he's definitely very useful. Um, I don't think Red Guardian's going to be in the crystals by the time I'm opening them, so not really him. Six star, number one, Nick Fury, by far. If I get Nick Fury, I'd rank three him, Unawakened, um, mainly because 
I don't want my tier 5 skill to go into overflow when I form like a second and third eventually. Because the skill class is kind of weak, honestly, and I already have rank 3 Aegon. Um, I would rank 3 Nick. If I get Stealthy, I'd rank 3 him, I guess. Um, Elsa, maybe, because there's not that many good skill options. Hit Monkey, I don't think Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey might be in the Crystal already, actually, and I think about it, so I might rank 3 him. Gwenpool, I don't think she's going to be in the Crystal when I'm opening him, but I'd probably rank 3 her. Um, the skill class definitely needs some love. The skill class is, I think, the weakest in the game, in my opinion. I think, yeah, the weakest in the game. Maybe that or tech. It's that or tech, honestly. Mutant, I'm really open to awaken a Mega Red. If I awaken a Mega Red from this opening, I'm going to be so happy. I can rank through them. I just need, um, what, tier four. But I can just get that. I have a shit ton of crystals. Um, if I awaken a Colossus, that'll also be really amazing. So, a Mega Red, top pool. Colossus, probably the second top pool. Uh, getting Magneto. Uh,. White would be, I think, the third. I don't really need the red one because I already have him as a maxed out five star. And, like, the extra damage from a six star is really just not needed because the special three and five star is just a one shot and everything in the game. So, um, Archangel would be really cool, but I don't think he's going to be in the crystals when I open them. Um, I don't know. Pretty much I don't really want anyone else. I don't really care about Domino any of those characters. Um, so, yeah, I just want to awaken a Mega Red, really. For Cosmic... I just really want to awaken Corvus or get Cat Marvel movie. Um, it's been a while, but they finally added good um, cosmics. They added Cosmic Ghost Rider, who's insane, probably beyond God tier or very close to it. And then Red Goblin, who's just pretty good, but he's not like Cosmic Ghost Rider level. So, but they're not gonna be in the crystals when I open them. So top pull, um, probably Cat Marvel movie. Then, like, Awakening Corvus and, like, Awakening, like, Cull or something. Also, um, maybe getting Silver Surfer for Prestige, but, eh. Um, tech, number one pull, Warlock, just by far. Number two pull, Geejin 2099. And then after that, I don't really care. Pretty much the rest of the class is kind of useless. Maybe more dupe levels on Ghost. Um, for Mystic, I really hope to Awaken Clairvoyant. That'd be really cool. Because then I could... I mean, I'm going to rank three here regardless, but I mean, having it with the silver stars is very nice and the nice prestige. Um, pretty much everyone else in the Mystic class is kind of shit. Um, not really, but I, I mean, I don't really want Sim Sorcerer Supreme because I think you need to throw a lot of specials there now in Suicides. Mojo, kind of the same thing. Also, he needs to be high sig, which for six stars is very hard right now. Um, long shot, he's just kind of damage. I don't really need just damage characters since I have Ghost, Corvus, Quake, Archangel, all those crazy damage dealers or suicides um i mean he'd be cool i guess but i don't really know what to use him for um dragon man i'd really love to get actually but i don't think he's gonna be in the crystals when i open them because he's a double immune um awakening symbio supreme would also be decent but yeah i don't really know i, I, I don't think i'd rank to him maybe i would just for fun but that's pretty much it um if it has to come to it and we gotta burn tier five I think Awakening Korg might be decent if I have to rank 3 a skill character because his prestige is good, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. I would really be sad, but yeah. Just to recap, we got like, we're gonna, like, the big things to keep him out for. We're gonna have like 40 daily Thronebreaker crystals. We're gonna have like 21 to 22 of the 10% tier 5 CC crystals, which is our insane. We're gonna have like 30 to 35 dual crystals. The mutant ones and the old and the cosmic and tech ones. We're gonna have like a ten to eleven probably of the um, six star crystals, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's gonna be a massive opening, um, one of the biggest ever on my channel. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe. Um, so yeah, look forward to it. Also, I have almost thirteen thousand units. So if my birthday opening goes to shit, which hopefully I can get at least one, two good pulls with all those crystals. But if not, Cyber Monday is like two weeks after. So yeah, we're going to we'll probably doing the 15k thing over there. So yeah, it's going to be fun. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.